Seoul's chief diplomat is heading for Paris this afternoon for an Indo-Pacific meeting. There, he will also meet the director general of UNESCO, where he will likely discuss Japan's controversial push for its Sado mines to be listed as World Heritage Site. Our Yoon Zeman reports. South Korea is upping its diplomatic efforts this week regarding Japan's UNESCO push for its Sado mines, which use wartime forced labor. Foreign Minister Chong Eun-yong is heading for Paris on Monday for a meeting with ministers from the Indo-Pacific region, as well as with UNESCO Director General Audrey Azoulé. Chong is likely to discuss the issue when he meets the UNESCO chief. Tokyo is pushing to get the mines on the Japanese island of Sado listed as UNESCO World Heritage, despite Koreans having been subjected to forced labor there by Japan during World War II. Japan's application reportedly only includes the period from the 16th to mid-19th century and excludes the period of the Japanese occupation of Korea and the wartime period going up to the 1940s. An Ikemas Korea board member says bringing the issue on the global stage is important because coordination is critical for UNESCO heritage. What Japan is pushing right now is in fact unreasonable. As for documentary heritage, Japan itself has created and applied a principle that there should be agreement between related countries when recommending heritage with possible disputes. Experts say diplomacy and communication with the international community is needed so that Korea's voice on the mines is heard. The South Korean foreign minister will also discuss Korean peninsula affairs and regional issues at the Indo-Pacific ministerial meeting. The agenda may also include current tensions in Ukraine. And the minister will have bilateral meetings with officials from several countries, including Sweden, Greece, Bulgaria. Yoon Jong-min, Arirang News.